Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. In this video, we are going to answer uh, someone supposedly he converted to Islam, and according to him, he is coming from a Polish family and the Catholic family, etc., etc., etc. And now his mother she decided to send him to Christian school, which is supposedly a Catholic school, and then the problems start facing him with the questions and answers. So I want to go. I cannot go all over the video. I mean, I'm going to take the most important points he said because the rest is nothing but it's uh, blah blah blah. So let us see the questions he raised in his video about his faith. This is the first one. It was the first bit that when I was a nine-year-old child, hearing my mother say, Hail Mary, Mother of God. I said to myself, how can God have a mother? That's a good question. Okay. God is supposed to be without beginning and without end. That's perfect. That's wonderful. So we are going to do what this guy, he said. We are going to ask the same question and we are going to make the same, uh, like, uh, let us say, God should not have a beginning or end. We will go by the rule he just gave us, which he himself saying the reason for him to reject Christianity. So we go over the Quran in chapter 4 verse number 171 and I want the Christians to learn really how to think when someone speak because it's about a way of thinking and the answers after that is easy this person he said we should not say we should not say Mary the mother of God by the way me myself I don't like this term because the Bible never said Mary the mother of God however I understand Christians saying Mary the mother of God because Jesus is our Lord and so he, she's his mother by birth so she is the mother of the Lord you know, but you see, some, they might try to play with this and make it look like it's not what it is. However, I'm going to go with this gentleman and I'm going to go by the Quran. So, according to the Quran, Allah, he sent the word of God to Mary. And again, remember, this is Quran translated by Muslims, which absolutely I don't approve. Chapter 4, verse 171. I don't approve any Islamic translation because it is full of hypocrisy and lies. However, we will go with it and we will use it. In this verse, we will see that the Quran saying, and this verse is meant to say, by the way, this verse is, is made specifically against the Trinity. Say not Trinity. Say not Trinity. Let us make it clear. The Quran against the Trinity. But yet, I will show you the Trinity there. And then we will go and answer him about what we should call Mary, the mother of who. According to the Quran, Jesus, he is the word of Allah. Send down to Mary. And he is a spirit proceeding from him. And after he was born, he became the messenger. Of who? Of Allah. So now let us go with him. He said, how we can say Mary, the mother of God, if God have no beginning? You know what? I'm not going to use that just to make you happy. Me, myself, I don't use it because it's not what the Bible says. Uh, but I understand why some Christians, they say it and use it. However, I'm going to change Mary. This is Mary. According to your Quran, Mary is the mother of who? The mother of Isa. Do you see it here? Son of Mary. So, Mary, she is the mother of Isa, the Christ. I'm not the one saying that, it's your Quran. But your Quran says that Isa is the word of God. Is it going to make you feel better if we say Mary, the mother of the word of God? Because the Quran says that Jesus the Christ, he is the word of God. And Mary is the one who gave birth to her son. And her son is the word of God. So now, we will do, follow the rules of the Quran and the rules he himself, he requested. We will say Mary, 
the mother of the word of God. But he just said, can the word of God have a beginning? Do the word of God have a beginning? Hearing my mother say, Hail Mary, Mother of God. I said to myself, how can God have a mother? How can God have a mother? God is supposed to be without beginning and without end. God supposed to be without beginning, without end. But now we have a problem. Jesus Christ is the Word of God. And now the Word of God have a mother. And the mother, her name is Mary. And her son is the Word of God. The Word of God, according to you, should not have a beginning, should not have end. But according to this, the Word of God just began and just now became exist. I'm, I'm going by the logic of Muslims. So now we should use, according to Muslims, we should not say Mary the mother of God. We should say Mary the mother of the word of God. I like that. I'm not against that actually to say because that will expose the whole religion of Islam. Mary, the mother of the word of God, the word who became a man. Thank you very much. Are you copying the Christians? You are saying right now that the word of God have an existence and start after the birth. When you Muslims claim that the word of God is exist always, and actually the Muslims, you can search on the internet, the Muslims, they have millions of fatwa says that the one who say the word of God is created is not a Muslim. Actually, he should be killed. According to Islam, the word of God is not created. If you go and search, right by yourself, search in Google, is Quran is it created? You will see the answer right away in Islamic website all over. As you see, Islamic, Islamic info, that whatever, the Quran was revealed by Allah, not created not created the same you can go to any islamic website all of them they insist that the quran is not created and, and and they base that on what they base it that the word of allah is not created the quran simply is the word of god it's not just a word uh, 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 like it's not uh, just an, a name of a book it is the word of god not created and all muslims agree with that with no exception As you see in the front of your eyes, this is not my own words, this is the Muslim fatwa, and they are coming with the conclusion that the word of Allah is never been created, it's just revealed. Now, it is it is exists with Allah from the beginning, it go from him and come back to him. Now, listen to this. If Jesus is the word of God, which sent down to Mary, and the word of God, as it says here by Muslims, is not created it exists from the beginning that means that jesus the word of god the christ is exists from the beginning with him by him him who according to the quran allah which is who god so now we will go with the muslim advice and we will not call mary no more the mother of god we will call her the mother of word of god which is never created which never have a beginning because it exists with God since the beginning of time, if we can count that. And it's always exist. It is eternal. It's not created. You just agreed that Jesus, the word of God, eternal, never created. That's mean that Jesus is the word of God, as we saw there, and that word exist with with Allah from the beginning and it was not created as it says here and that mean that Mary she is the mother the, to the uncreated word of God and gave birth to word of God do, do, do you see what I'm, I'm talking about he told us we should not say such a thing he told us we should not say Mary the mother of God it's not right 
because that means God have a beginning and has an end. But as long Jesus himself is the word of God and Muslims agree and admit that the word of God cannot be created. The word of God is always exist. It is eternal and it is always with God and sent down as it says here. And Mary now became the mother of who? The mother of word of God. And the irony about this, not only because the word of God is not created, which means that destroy Islamic mythology about Jesus, how can how Jesus can be a man and God, because man is created, God is not. But they cannot explain to me how the word of God, which is not created, became a man which is created. And then we need to change from saying Mary the mother of Jesus to say Mary the mother of God, which is, I mean, Mary the mother of the word of God. How Mary she became the mother of the word of God and how the word of God became a man and how the one is created coming out of something not created. Because remember, in this verse, I want you to think deep about it. What Allah He sent down to Mary, it was only a word. He did not send the sperm, He did not send the dust, He did not make mud. He, no, no, no. He just sent His word to where? Down. Down to who? To Mary. It's coming from above. That word became a man. But we just showed you that the Word of God never created. It's always exist. With who? With Allah. Allah is the one who sent the Word. The Word coming from Allah, then the Word became a man, a messenger, And then Mary, by that, became the mother of the Word, who became a man. And that is a disaster for Islam. Because that confirms what the Bible says, that Mary, she gave birth to a person who was the Word of God, and who he is the Word of God, who became a flesh. And as long the word of God is eternal, and Jesus is the word of God, and as long the word of God is not created, and Jesus, according to Islam, is created, then the Muslims, they have to explain to us, how you explain to me that the word of God, which is not created, became a man which is created. That means that it's very possible that the Word of God, which is not created, became something created. And actually, this is very logical. Why? Because the Word of God is the power of God. The power of God is God Himself. Because God and His power is the same. If you take, the, if you take God from His power, He is no God no more. If we take the will of God from God, God doesn't exist. We call God Almighty because of His power, not because of His name. God without power is no one. Which actually, the power of God is the Almighty who can do everything, not the one who can do nothing. So Jesus is the Word of God, He is the power of God who came on earth and He became a man, and that man called the messenger, and he is not created according to the Quran as a word, but he is created as a man. Thank you very much. That's mean that Mary is the mother of the word of Allah. How you can solve that? I need an answer. Christ is Lord. Islam is a stupid, made by a stupid. And I, I follow with me with the second video because I will talk more about this issue because he said more things to answer. God bless. Thank you very much.